So this is my first time in Cannes, and I have to say it's been amazing to see the ad tech community kind of, I don't want to say take over, but be an active participant in this really important event. Um, and you're right, the, the sort of rise of programmatic direct, which is sort of private marketplaces versus open marketplaces has been a big topic, uh, at least in the last couple days. Uh, I think my overall takeaway is it just shows that there is very strong interest from both the advertiser and the publisher side of the business in participating in programmatic, but everyone wants to at least take a first step in a way that they maintain control and they have sort of the visibility and transparency into what's happening in programmatic. And that's really the trend that we're seeing. Yeah, I'd say overall we're seeing much more liquidity in programmatic overall, which means more publishers are supplying to the category. And actually the most interesting trend is actually brands participating directly uh, in the programmatic ecosystem, usually by selecting a platform and participating directly in that way. But overall just more liquidity across the board, which I think is fueling all the discussions that we're seeing here this week. So I think... You can never overhype ad fraud. If it's happening, we should all pay attention to it and make significant changes to address it. What makes me optimistic is I'm seeing many brands find a trusted third party to be their measurer of fraud. Uh, and the ecosystem companies like Brightroll and others are sort of finding ways to really make that data actionable and make sure that when a customer buys an ad from a vendor in this category, there should be a level of trust that they're getting what they paid for. And we haven't solved it 100% as an industry, but we've made massive strides in the last six months, and I'm pretty optimistic about it being sort of eradicated this year. Well, how, how pervasive is it? I mean, you know, there's all kinds of numbers that are tossed out. I don't know if you have a number in your head, or how, how bad is it, and does it affect everybody, or just the mid-tail, or the... What? I think it's, I would say it's it's not clearly understood and it really does depend on the participant. I mean, my back of the envelope is 20 to 30 percent of all ads in the world are served fraudulently, including in display. But the problem with those blanket statements is if you're a buyer and you buy primarily on price, you could end up over-indexing above that number. Um, and I think people think, oh, if I buy premium, I'm avoiding it. But we actually, the data we have suggests that most publishers, even premium publishers, have a double-digit percentage of inventory, which shows up as fraud, as measured by most third-party vendors. So um, I think it's significant. I think we're developing the tools with third parties to, to eradicate it. But it's fair to assume that it is a part of the business that needs to be talked about and addressed today.